Hello and welcome back to another episode of the shop. Today, like I said in my last episode uh, with the uh, expedition, I'm going to be working on the Envoy. So, the Envoy has had a radiator leak for a while. I've been just kind of dealing with it and everything. Um, it, excuse me, it has a uh, loose fittings up top and I'll show you on this new radiator over time these uh, aluminum brackets on here has started failing and so evidently we got some leakage everywhere and so today I'm going to attempt to do this uh, attempt by saying we're going to finish it I just don't know how long it's going to take or how tough it's going to be. So, I'll walk you through it and we're going to figure this out because that's what I like to do is do what I can and figure things out even though I have no clue most of the time. So, come along and find these mistakes that I make and other things and don't make the same ones. Uh. Alright, I'm going to go on the head cam in just a minute. Uh, as you see, got my creeper, which is really dirty, I need to clean it. Uh, pan for the uh, radiator fluid and pan for the transmission fluid. Because as most people know, when working on stuff like this, you got two little bottom holes right here, that's for the transmission. You got a bottom hole and a top hole for the radiator itself, for the cooling. Uh, this is a little pick cut right here, which is going to get the fluid out if I want to drain it. And uh, this other older one should have one in it. So, uh, yeah. So, first thing we're going to do is start taking some of this, these body panels apart right here. And then we're going to drain the fluid out and the transmission and break it all apart. So here we go. Now that that's draining, we're going to give it a few minutes uh, and let everything drip out that we can. So after that, we're going to uh, put this other pan down and undo the transmission lines. But first, before all that, start taking all of this off, this upper radiator support. Uh, I take this little beam off uh, and then the hood latch and all that to get back here so we can slide it out. So. Let's get to it. All right, so uh, I've got the upper radiator support out. This, uh, what is that? Six 14 millimeter bolts right here, two right here, two in the middle, two right here. Move those out of the way. There's a little 12 millimeter bolt hidden back here behind the, the grill. The grill is just popped straight out. So all you gotta do is have uh, just pop it straight out from these little clips and it just pops out. Um, so we're going to continue with this. We're going to move this out of the way. I removed this battery tie-down bracket, which was a uh, 310 millimeter, uh, two bolts and one nut. Uh, now we have access to the radiator. And uh, we're going to go from here. We're going to pop these 10 mils off that connect the, bat uh, the condenser to the radiator. And then we're going to pull off this fan shroud so we can hopefully just pull this whole entire assembly straight up and then just replace it with the other one. So let's keep working. Alright, it's going pretty fast so I'm wondering what roadblock I'm about to hit because it's getting too easy. The S13 is very easy. It doesn't have a condenser in it. <laughs> Excuse me. So uh, all I gotta do is just drain the radiator and uh, pull the fan shroud off and 
pop it out. Uh, that's really it. So this is basically the same thing, except you just got to take off body panels. Or just a handful of them. So you got all these four 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts. Everything's moving now. Uh, pop this little bracket off right here. So got that out of the way. Now my issue is, let me get the light. That, those lines right there need to kind of back up a little bit so I can fully push this out of the way and pull this radiator out. But I've got to get down there and get the transmission lines unhooked first. So let's hop down there and do that. All right, down there, I'll show you the example of what I'm going with. I uh, got two um, three quarter inch, uh, basically um, nuts, slash whatever you want to call it, tubes, uh, connectors, adapters, yeah. Uh, so loosen them up, let them drain, and then these go in their place. Uh, the line should just hook right back up the same way they were unhooked. So, uh, other than that, I'm going to uh, let that drain for a little bit. I've got new little clips up here that go uh, where everything else connects as of the AC condenser and the fan shroud. I'm going to go ahead and put those on and get them ready so I can drop this thing in and start filling it back up. Pull this thing out now. Looks pretty nasty compared to the new one. The new one's a little bit smaller, but not too much. Uh, I do see that the pet cock on this one is a little bit different than the pet cock on this one. This one looks a little bit easier over here. Uh, comes with these uh, adapters. Uh, should just plug the lines in, and they should be good to go once it's tightened down. Um, on this back side, though. Oh, the little clips that hold the AC condenser have a point on them and so I clipped them off to get them out because that one has a little point on it and these don't these are smooth so it'll make it easier installing than it was to get these things out so now I'm going to move all the rubber over to the other hose or the other radiator and put these new clips on that are up here and that should be good to go after that Alright, so I finally got the radiator in place. It was a pain in the butt. Have fun when you're going to be doing it. Oh, just put the little 10 mils back in. Starting to put everything back. Got the fan shroud hooked up where it needs to go. Don't know why whoever had this before me had double hooks, which doesn't make any sense. But since they had it, we'll just put it on until we replace this radiator hose later. So, for right now, I'll just tighten all this stuff up. Uh, button the whole thing back up. So we're going to put you on time lapse and I'm going to go ahead and try and finish this whole dealio uh, quick. So see y'all in a minute. this not too long ago I wanted to see how it works it looks like it may or may not work like I need it to it's got a bunch of little doohickeys down here which I'm excited about so let's see that goes on there and which one goes on here come on
find out. But this little fancy dancy thing, pretty sweet. I'm really enjoying it already. Oh. Alright, so the way you find, uh, the way this works is, you have this little adapter right here. You have many little adapters right here. Pull them all out. Alright, so you got many adapters. You find the one that fits your purpose. Put the cap on that matches your purpose. Screw it down tight. Snug. Put this on. And then put this up here. As you fill up, you shouldn't have any spillage. When it cuts off up here, put this plug in and you'll save some water. So, just a little thing, that's all I'm just wanting to get. So, we're going to see how this works, how good it does. Alright, so, it's complete. Clean my lens. <laughs> System is back in order. Uh, no leaks. Transmission's topped off. Water and radiator fluid is topped off. So that's good. So I got everything back together though. Everything looks good. Everything works good. So I want to say thank you for joining in with me. Uh, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. But let me know what's going on. So, any questions, concerns, anything, let me know. Uh, if you like more content like this, check out the channel. Subscribe. Get notifications. Until next time, thanks.